everyone! I'm Rebecca and welcome to my YouTube channel. I have been thinking about putting together a YouTube or starting YouTube for a while now and I figured I might as well just jump in. This channel is going to be historical costume related, I guess costume related, um, and uh, will be a conglomeration of hairstyles and beauty tips for historical costuming plus sewing maybe some tutorials maybe just a lot of sew with me's and also hopefully some events and or photo shoots uh, because I like to plan events and photo shoots with the Puget Sound Historical Costumers Guild uh, which I'm a founding member of. So I thought we would get started with a tour of my sewing space, my sewing room. The entire reason that I bought a house was to have a sewing room. It's tiny, but it's workable. And uh, I'd love for you to see it. Let's go. Welcome to my sewing room. Fair warning, if you are only interested in a neat, clean, pristine sewing room, turn off your video now. This is not one of those. This is a working, lived in, used sewing room that gets used a whole lot. And I apologize for how close we are in all of this, but it's a tiny room. It's 9 by 12, so I can't get far away from anything. We'll start with the most used object in the room. This is my brother Quattro sewing machine, Quattro 3. Uh, sewing and embroidery. It's wonderful. I use it all the time. Brother, please sponsor me. This is my baby. As we continue down, we get pattern storage. This is where I keep all of my historical patterns, anything that will fit in those drawers. They are, there are a few truly Victorian patterns that do not fit. Over here we have thread storage my sewing threads, and my embroidery threads, naturally in rainbow colored order because I'm not a heathen. Over here, these are the samples from my failed Etsy shop. Uh, if you didn't already know, if you're new to me, I started an Etsy shop a few years ago where I made uh, princess inspired play dresses for little girls or for anyone who wants to wear them, and they uh, did not really take off. So I sold some, but I still have a whole bunch of samples here. So yeah, if anyone wants a heavily discounted princess sample, message me, because <laughs> I got those for you. I also have my costume college ribbons, because I love costume college. I have been attending since 2011, and you can see there's a lot of ribs. Uh, I enjoy it very much. It's a lot of fun, and I, they add a lot of color to the room. This next machine here is my first machine, my Viking Emerald. Uh, I don't use it that often now, except for eyelets, because this thing makes the best machine done eyelets. Ooh, hey, focus there best eyelets and brother can't do that and on top of that was sitting the pieces for the mock-up slash hopefully lining of the bodice that I'm working on right now sergers this is my baby lock serger and it gets white or any other color except black thread because it's nice and easy to change the thread this one is my brother serger and that one gets black thread all the time but it stays busy. This is more pattern storage down here. I keep any vintage or vintage inspired or costumey costume um, and modern patterns all there. Got some in progress slash mending stuff on top including patterns of fashion. And a lot more mending or in progress hanging from the rail some of these literally just need a button. I don't know why I keep them hanging there, but I do. Over here we have my current reel in progress. 
This one you may have seen a glimpse of on Instagram, but this baby is going to get 55 yards of ribbon applied to the bottom of this skirt in a crisscrossing manner, as you can see by all the pink marks. And I will be wearing that to the Port Townsend Victorian Festival in a couple months. It's also what the bodice mock-up is for. Over here is my huge, wonderful sewing table. I will try to get far enough away from it. This thing is 36 by 60 and uh, is an ironable surface, which is amazing. It's also a very stainable surface, so ignore that. And I keep some important papers on there, plus pins and rulers and a dog toy that needs mending, etc. With my TV, so I can watch TV while I cut. It also has tons of storage underneath. I have hams for pressing. I have some shoes, buttons, Disney print fabrics, uh, lots of muslin. Oh, hey, it's a dog. This is Lion. He's my sewing buddy. My other sewing buddy isn't in the room right now. Her name is Dora, and she's a cat. Over here is more of the same fabric, or more of different fabric, I should say, with the twill that I'm using for the mock-up slash hopefully lining. And over here we have mostly leftover fabrics, a lot of princess stuff especially, that I think two whole cubbies of just princess fabrics because I make a lot of princess dresses. And over here we have the rest of the fabrics. These fabrics are nicely sorted by type, like cottons and velvets and silks, which I really appreciate. And then we have trims. So many trims and patterns and books and other random things that are needed. And yes, this is Percy. He is going to be part of a costume that I'm making later this year which is an 1830s uh, Governor Ratcliffe. Super excited for that. And I have just my random tchotchkes up here. They put me in a nice sewing mood. We also have a large mirror. Hello again. This mirror is great because I can use it for full length stuff. Except, most of the time, it's blocked by Antoinette. Say hi, Antoinette. Antoinette is my dress form. And she's currently wearing the overskirt that I will be wearing to Port Townsend. That is in process. The other wonderful thing about this room is my shelf, are my shelves, that run along the ceiling just low enough for hat boxes. Lots of hat boxes. I have almost all of them up there. Super handy. And hiding behind all of these projects is a small closet that I'm not going to open, but it contains all of my silk dresses. And of course, most of the decor are fashion plates, because why not? But the most important sewing accessory is naturally lion. Anyway, thanks. That's my sewing room. Thank you so much for joining me for my first video. I'm so excited to share so many more with you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click like. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit subscribe and the little bell notification icon so that you can be notified every time I post a video. Thanks for joining me and happy sewing!